Hey everybody, Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Peppermint OS. But first, I want to remind you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. Hey, if you end up not liking me, all you got to do is unsubscribe. Plus, if you do subscribe, you get entered into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we are doing on October 31st, 2021. Peppermint OS. Right now, we're at their website. It just states, Introducing Peppermint OS. It's a lightweight, stable, super fast operating system. It is a respin. It's built on a long-term support code base, so you don't have to worry about having to reinstall every six months. It comes with the Nemo File Manager. It's got a web app integration with ICE. Peppermint's handy cloud and web management application tool. ICE continues to put web applications on an equal footing with locally installed apps. We'll have to take a look at that when we go through here. One thing I really like about it, let me close out of the website, is when you open Firefox, it starts up, you get a Peppermint homepage, and DuckDuckGo is your primary search. Let's close out of Firefox, and this is the desktop that you get with Peppermint OS. Now let me apologize. For some reason, Peppermint's not playing well with my virtual box, so it is cut off a little bit on the sides. It's not 1920 by 1080. I think we're having to do this at 1680 by 1050. So definitely if you download it on a USB stick and go into live mode on your PC or on your laptop, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. It's just that it's not playing well with VMbox. So it is a GNOME desktop, old school GNOME, but I want to see if we can change some things on the panel here. I want to see if I can make it just a hair bigger. There we go. Row size, let's bump that up a little bit. We'll go to 45. And as you can tell out of the box down here, I know it looks a little big, but I'm just making it bigger because the resolution is already off. You've got time. Of course, you're on the US English keyboard. You got your volume, you got your battery level, and you got your ethernet, and then desktop one and two. And then over here, you got Firefox, which we've already been into. Let's open up the Nemo. There is your Nemo file manager, and Nemo is base. I mean, it just gives you what you need. You can change that around. These are locked into place. You can't move those around. But I do like the color theming of it. Now you can make your folders bigger if you want. So we can make those bigger. You can make them go over to a list, smaller list, and then you got your folder view. You've got your Peppermint Home, and then you've got Desktop you can switch to. And on Desktop right now, all we have is Install Peppermint. Let's get about. Let's find out. This is Nemo 4.0.6. So let's close that out. And I do like the when you open that up, this one is solid, and then your background app has transparency to it. I like that, so let's close out of that. Then you've got your console or terminal. Let's see if they've got HTOP installed. They do. It comes with HTOP out of the box. Right now, it's using at rest or 505 megs of 1.94 gigabytes of RAM. I've issued it. I've assigned it four CPUs, and it's using 2 to 3% at rest, so that's not bad at all. It's got the Peppermint Settings panel. Let's open that up and see what we have in there. You've got your Peppermint Control Center. Let's open that up. There's your theme, your title font, number of workspaces, title alignment. So my question is, is can you change the font up to a 12? Okay, so it made it bigger in the title bar. Okay, so that's interesting. Keyboard and pointer, acceleration of your mouse, keyboard shortcuts, desktop effects, and advanced. So we'll go back to window manager, click to focus. Okay, so let's close out of that. Customize look and feel. Widgets, arc red dark. I'm gonna leave that and it's got the default icon as Ubuntu. Now my question, can you bump that up? Okay, so you can change the size. So let's go to 13, click OK. There we go, a little bit bigger, we can apply that. Let's close out of that. Panel preferences, we've already looked at. Let's make this a little bigger. Customize Numex folder icons, wallpapers. What kind of different wallpapers do we have? Let's go with the butterfly. Let's apply. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Language support, login, keyboard settings, tweaks. What kind of tweaks do we got? Reset the panel defaults, turn on and off system sounds, advertisement blocker, deconf editor, software update, browser manager. So hardware, network, and system. Let's close out of that. Now let's go back over here to accessories. You got archive manager, calculator, document viewer, icon browser, games, better than chess, entanglement, first person Tetris, pinball, solitaire, graphics. You got 
Editor by Pixlr, Express by Pixlr, Simple Scan, Internet. You got a BitTorrent client, DLN Network. You got Dropbox installed out of the box, Firefox Send, Firefox Web Browser, ICE. Let's take a look at ICE. Name the application, enter the web address. We're going to use that. We're going to make an app for that. Name of application, search. And then enter web address would be www.duckduckgo.com. We're in the menu. We'll put it on the internet. We'll just select an icon. Well, let's just give it a transmission icon. Open. So there's our icon for it. We click apply, and that should be, if we go to internet, there's search. It just turned it into an app. You click on it, and it opens DuckDuckGo. But as you notice, it doesn't have a browser bar. You can go directly to what you want to look up. Let's do a search for DuckDuckGo and it brings up your searches for DuckDuckGo. That's impressive, I like that, you have it out of the box. So you're able to take the web and make web apps out of it and put it right into your menu. So I am very impressed with that. Let's go back over to internet, online user guide, Peppermint forum, if you have any questions, you're having issues with Peppermint, you just click on that. As you can tell, they've got a Peppermint forum that they've made a web app into but you've got official announcements and this is where you come should you have any problems or if you just want to talk to somebody in the forum let's open up office you get gmail google calendar google drive microsoft excel online onenote online word online so i guess they've turned these into web apps you just click on that and it brings you to your sign in for your online microsoft account so if you use microsoft online or you use microsoft 365 this distribution right here has got you already ready to go. And then settings, and then system. And it's got the GW package installer, HTOP we already looked at, so USB image writer. So guys, that is Peppermint OS. Uh, it seems pretty impressive out of the box, especially with the ability to turn the web into apps directly into your menu. That's a quick way to turn the web into apps directly on your computer. That keeps you from having to always go to your browser to go do something. You can assign an app to it, put it into your menu, and be able to open it up really quick. Please like and subscribe to my video. It doesn't cost anything, and if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. And don't forget, if you do like and subscribe, you'll be entered into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we're doing on October 31st, 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.